I uh, played some computer games with my eyes, which was quite good fun, but also a really good way of getting patients used to using eye gaze. And you can see that these are set up in, um, in kind of different areas, so there's kind of like a learning curve to it. It's just a very simple game, but you can see how we might use it with clients. We'd be saying, you know, just seeing if somebody could follow the command to look at those. So this one is a bit more directional. So here you're controlling the hose pipe oh, okay. and you're moving around, popping so... the bubbles. It, whoever's using this is getting the feedback that, you know, they're getting some visual and, and yeah. auditory feedback that they're actually doing something. And we've moved on a level now and we're getting somebody to make a choice. So I'm going to say to, to the, you, um, can you choose the hamburger for dinner? Excellent. Once we've got them to the point where they can do that, those kind of tasks, then we might think, right, OK, now we'll start using that for some form of communication. And we probably wouldn't start with something that was, um, we probably wouldn't start with a letter grid. And indeed, it may be that somebody with a brain injury has lost language anyway. Yeah, so we'd, yeah. try, we'd, we'd try something which is a bit more um, kind of... Uh, phrase based. Eye gaze really fulfills that kind of niche where you've got somebody who's very, very profoundly physically disabled, um, where they can't use any, anything, even move their arms or move their head or anything. It's, um, it really is um, quite, a, it really opens up a whole yeah, new world for people. It change so. their lives, yeah, don't they? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. It's amazing. So.